Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Price Secretary for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now what am I showing you here? Some, well it's a console gramophone isn't it? The sort of thing I don't touch with my barge pole, a lot of other things as well. So what's it doing here viewers? Well the Squire and I have just dragged this in. It was in the stables. It came with a collection of machines I bought a few weeks ago. And, well, I was going to leave it behind. It was in a sort of passageway at the back of the house, I cleared, and covered in dust, and I didn't really look at it. And my assistants put it in the van anyway, which was quite fortunate, really, because I'd left it behind. I was quite cross. It was delivered, and it ended up in the stables here with a lot of the other machines, and was basically forgotten about. And the other machines I sold on, got rid of, and I found this the other day. I was absolutely outraged until I looked inside and I realised what it was. There we are. It's a Columbia. That much is obvious. Not obvious from the front, of course, because you've got these two large doors in front. And what you've also got is all this wonderful hand carving here. Beautiful. And the amazing figuring of the meho mahogany. You can see me in it. That's a bit unfortunate. Hand carved legs, cabriole. Although you couldn't see the carving, it was so filthy. And something unique behind there, I don't know if you can quite see it. There's a red gauzy material behind all of these Columbias, sort of 1925, 26 pattern Columbias. 90%, well, almost, <laughs> in fact, every single one I've seen before this has had some kid poking his hand through. That is perfect on this one. But what else is odd about it? Looks perfectly standard. Um, I wonder if I can get a light over here. Talk amongst yourselves and we can see. See if that one will stretch. Oh, it might do. No, it's nearly there. There we go. That's a bit better. Light's not very good at this time of the year. We're well, not on this side of the house at least. Is that all going to fall down? I bet it is. Right, got some light now, let's see. Notice anything odd, viewers? What's that funny plate in the corner? Well, this is only the second of its type I've ever seen, or heard of. And it's a very rare thing indeed. It is, in fact, a repeating Columbia. And under there are two buttons, numbers two and three. And there is the plate, what says, instructions for operating auto stop and repeater. To start, lift, let's switch that off. A lift sound box right up, then lower it vertically, placing needle on outer record groove. Um, to repeat, press um, button mark 2 or 3 as required. When changing records, uh, turn sound box to extreme right. Hmm, a repeating Columbia. Now, what one, which one is it, viewers? Well, I've got Barry's book here. Rarer than these machines and he's got all the Columbia models in unfortunately he had all the catalogues and things but he had a useless photocopier so it's like the Japanese no playbook look sort of black blobs where you can see the machines now where is it it's here somewhere there it is uh, if you can hear noises outside viewers it's because we had severe frosts last week and my drive is littered with potholes making it very very dangerous so I've got some fellows in actually filling them in and uh, digging up a section to replace it can't have the whole lot done very expensive it's a long drive anyway this machine is in fact the 62A a cabinet mahogany satin finish fitted with tone control shutters piano hinge top two side cupboards with album divisions for storing records three needle cups motor powerful british made triple spring motor to play three 12 inch records motor mounted on metal plate 12 inch velvet covered turntable fittings gold plated fitted with new repeater device tone arm new columbia tone large tone arm all the rest of it um or you could have it as an electric one but this is not it's a wind up but there it is that's the one it's not quite the room it's in now <laughs> it'll be similar to that when we get the house uh, 
organised. But there we are, repeating Columbia. Now it's been working beautifully. The only thing is the sound box hasn't been rebuilt. And it's a bit rough. So I've changed the sound box for this record. Now, what does it say there? To start, lift sound box right up, then lower it vertically. Well, interesting. Let's see what we can do. We've found a record. I don't think we'll find any more records. Yes, I've just had a delivery from Proudy's auction. <laughs> Yes, my agents were bidding yesterday. Anyway, don't worry about that. So we lift it up vertically. Now I've wound the machine up. Lift it up vertically, right up vertically. That's it now. Oh, well that's probably because the auto stops on. That's it. And that's it. Placing the lower groove of the record, outer groove rather, and press 2. Or should we press three? We'll press three and see what happens. No Auto stop went off, that's no good. Let's see if it will... Here we go. Hmm. Nothing's happening, is it? Hmm. It worked perfectly a moment ago. It worked absolutely perfectly. Unbelievable. As soon as the camera switches on, these things decide not to work. Every oh dear, isn't that typical? Well, you've seen the machine, viewers. <laughs> when I and the squire have worked out how the devil it works and repeats, it can't, it's not a, sim not a difficult mechanism. All it is, as I remember from the other one, I haven't unbolted this one yet, um, is that there's a 
massive triple spring Columbia motor, made by Garrards, I think, at that point. And there's a something bolted on the back here, uh, which works off the, the main great wheel of the motor. It's only a, a series of small cogs and that, so it's not terribly complicated. Something is it, it obviously this machine has not been used for a very long time and it needs oiling and lubricating. In fact, I was up at Summertown this morning, I should have got some WD 40. What a nuisance! I suppose I'll have to strip and rebuild it. Never mind. Well, you this is the first video, there will be another one where it actually does repeat. How annoying! Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.